I finally got my hands on the Zephyrus G15. I've been trying to get this into the studio for the past few months. And instead of just doing a regular review, which I feel there are tons of great ones already, I wanted to compare it to the M16. Because these two laptops, even though they look alike, are very different. And I feel some people are gonna prefer the M16 and others are gonna feel the G15 better suits their lifestyle. One thing's for sure is that these are some of the lightest 15 to 16 inch gaming notebooks you can buy today, which is really impressive considering how much power is packed inside of here. The G15 is the white one, the M16 being the black. They both have these metal chassis with the CNC holes on the top with a reflective material underneath. Depending on which way you move the laptop, the reflectiveness kind of seeps through. These may look alike, but the G15 is a tiny bit thinner at the back. It's not really noticeable unless you have the M16 directly beside it. The ports are exactly the same. You have a Kensington lock, micro SD card slot, and USB port on the right hand side. And then on the left hand side, you have your power connector with the brick being bigger on the G15 due to the 3080 that's inside of here, HDMI port, RJ45, USB, two USB type C ports, but the big deal with the M16 since it's using an Intel processor, this one happens to be Thunderbolt 4. Now you can charge the laptop using the USB type C port and you can also connect directly to the dedicated GPU if you use the Type-C port instead of the HDMI. As you'd expect, both of these laptops can be opened up using one hand and the screen tilts all the way back flat against the table. In typical ASUS fashion, the bottom of the laptop lifts up for better airflow and they both have the exact same keyboard. I love this keyboard. The tactile feel is very comfortable. There's a nice bottom effect when you press all the way down. Even though it's only 1.7 millimeters of travel distance, I do find this a very respectable keyboard. And then you have a few extra keys on the top to, to manipulate the volume. The power button on both of these laptops are also fingerprint scanners, so you can use Windows Hello to quickly log you on. The touchpad size is massive, which is very unusual for a lot of gaming laptops, but these ones are great. It's glass, it's very accurate to use. Sticker placement. I'm giving this to the AMD guy. Their stock went up. They got more money to pay their sticker guy. And as you can see here, the Intel sticker guy just slapped it on crooked. The speakers on both laptops are exactly the same. I think they sound fantastic. You know, they're not gonna be on a MacBook Pro 16, but for a gaming laptop, they sound very good. Now, the first major difference between both of these laptops is the display. You buy the G15, you're getting a 15 inch display. It's 16 by nine, but it is QHD. The M16 on the other hand is QHD2, but it's 16 by 10 and 16 inches. So not only do you get more screen real estate, you get a, a, a bigger display. And yes, a lot of people mentioned in the comment section that these vents on the M16, when they're blowing out air, hit the bottom of the panel since that bezel has been reduced. I ran this laptop for over two weeks mining Ethereum, which like just makes the laptop very hot and it was blowing air straight out. Nothing happened, nothing happened. So I don't think anything is going to happen if you use this thing for years to come. As for display quality, the G15 has slightly, I mean ever so slightly better color saturation, but the M16 gets significantly brighter. So if brightness is important to you, which it is to me, I would rather have the M16's display over the G15. Webcam, this is an easy one. The M16 comes with a 720p webcam. It's an okay webcam, not the greatest, but it has one, something that the G15 does not, which is really weird because they have all this wasted space under here and they could have easily made the, the bezel at the top slightly thicker to fit one inside. The second major difference is the performance. You buy the G15, you're getting an AMD CPU. This one happens to be the Ryzen 9 5900HS. You buy the M16, you're exclusively getting Intel. This one has the i9 11900H. Now, if you're talking about synthetic benchmarks, the Intel processor is gonna win out every single time. It has faster single core clock speeds, which is better for 1080p gaming, and slightly better multi-core clock speeds. But if you're talking about something like Adobe Premiere Pro, even though this has the 3060 and this has the 3080, the Intel CPUs have Quick Sync, which works in unison with NVENC when you're using your laptop. And because of that, you get better Premiere Pro results. Now this is not a AMD problem. This is Adobe being a hot pile of garbage in terms of optimization. If you're compiling code, it's slightly faster in short bursts using the M16. 
Also, if you're willing to go into your BIOS and change a setting, you can undervolt the Intel processor by 80 and that will help reduce temps slightly and offer you slightly better performance. And since we're on the topic of heat management, I didn't find any of these laptops to get super duper hot, like keyboard surface temperatures were in line and even the CPU sometimes would go over 90 degrees and never surpassed the, their thresholds. Like it was never an issue. As for fan noise, both laptops get to about 55 decibels when it's on turbo mode, but I did find the M16 to kick on the fans a lot more frequently. I was having a much more quieter experience with the G15, and that's mostly due to the more efficient Ryzen processor inside. So if you're taking this to school and you want your laptop to be as quiet as long as possible, the G15 is better suited for it. Internally, they're very similar. Like they both come with eight or 16 gigabytes of RAM soldered onto the motherboard, depending on the SKU you buy. And you do have a slot of upgradable memory. You could potentially put 48 gigabytes of RAM inside of here. There's two slots for drives. One is populated with a one terabyte NVMe SSD and they both get very similar speeds. And there's a second empty slot allowing you to upgrade in the future. There's one advantage to the Intel system though. And that's the fact that it has Gen 4 or PCIe Gen 4, allowing you to put a significantly faster NVMe SSD. Like you get some crazy read and write speeds if you decide to purchase a faster drive. And that's something you can't do with the AMD system. However, even though both of these laptops share a 90 watt hour battery, I was able to squeeze nine hours and 31 minutes with the G15 compared to only five hours and 30 minutes with the M16. So the big question, which one is the better laptop? And quite frankly, I find them to be very equal. It just kind of depends on what you do. For me personally, I like the M16 better. I'd rather have the bigger display, the 16 by 10 aspect ratio, it's brighter, it has a webcam, and even though it doesn't have nine hours and 30 minutes of battery life, five hours and 30 minutes is more than plenty for what I do. However, if you're someone who needs battery life because you're taking this to school and you don't mind having a webcam, then the G15 is a lot more attractive. But there's also another thing to consider, and that's price. The G15 historically is usually, usually, usually more affordable. Like right now, today at Best Buy, I was looking at the prices. Uh, G15 with 3070 is 1849, which is the exact same price as the M16 with a 3060. So that's something else to take into consideration. Anyways, that wraps up this review. You guys let me know which one you'd rather have in the comment section down below. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.